Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Don Thompson, uh, A055319, meaning that I am a two-time convicted felon. I uh, was incarcerated in 1976. I got out uh, briefly in 1978 and went right back. In 31 days, I violated my probation and parole, and I was re-incarcerated. Re and I spent the next four and a half years in prison. I got out in 1982 successfully as a, as a model inmate. Uh, I was able to turn it around while I was incarcerated. That's great. Um, what do you think a place like Riverside, what's the value to the Miami community? A place like Riverside in any municipality, in any town, city, state, it's vital because it gives a, a, a person that's been taken away from society an opportunity to polish up his skills, whether it be filling out applications or job seeking or just polishing up the vocabulary so you can slowly make the transition from being incarcerated to society. What did you do for work after you, um, your post prison life? What, what did you do for work? Well, one of which I, I, got, I got several trades while I was incarcerated, one of which was doing the paint body work and also having the culinary school skills I worked at juvenile justice dealing with inmates, or, ju or juvenile justice inmates. However, in 1984, I started Metro Day Solid Waste, working on the back of the garbage truck, from cleaning up to the back of the truck, and I drove the garbage truck for 17 years, and I finished up my career at Solid Waste at the top as a heavy equipment operator. Did you ever miss a day? Not a day. 32 years, I never called in sick, not even one time. I came to work sick. But they would always let me go home because they knew I was very trustworthy and I was a, a efficient worker. And that's, I take pride in knowing that you can work beyond the break. That's amazing. That's amazing. What an accomplishment. My last question is if someone's thinking about either volunteering at Riverside House or becoming a donor, what would you say to them if they're on the fence? It should be a no-brainer. I think everybody, regardless of who you are or where you are, should have that willingness to give back, to help someone else. To make it, to know that you can drop the ball, fumble the ball, pick it back up, and score the touchdown. And reach back and show someone else, yes, if I can do it, so can you. Thank you very much.